There we are. Yes, yes, yes. We are like six minutes, seven minutes late. But here we are. Sometimes you just have a little technical issue. And there we are. And sometimes, usually the bad stuff comes like in threes or something like that. So, um, well, it happened. So, for those who don't know yet, I lost my save games, apparently. I don't know how yet. But, um, well, they're gone. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just start a new zoo. Now, I already... Uh, Asked some people to uh, give me a name and Roadhog came up with a perfect name, The Little One, as a reference to one of his favorite bars and of course to Little One, our little kit. So let's create this zoo and I love some mountains on the background, so let's do that. But yeah, it's most unfortunate that I lost that uh, save game, so... Um we we'll just have to start all over again, I guess. So one of the things that will be in, of course, is a uh, lemur habitat. I don't know when, I don't know why, but uh, we're going to do it. All right, let's pause the game so at least we can get started. As we have now... Oh, wow, look at this. We are on some sort of a... Uh... Sorry, little cough there. We are some sort of a slope. So maybe if we don't like the animals, we can just kick them over the edge or something like that. Interesting. Well, we're not going to do that yet. I don't know. This feels like a little bit smaller world, but I have no idea. We're just going to start. Now, of course, the good thing is that now that we start all over, we can do better than we did before. So let's get going. The Malayan Tapirs. Hello, James. And of course, hello to everybody. was just a little bit stressed out that we had to... Uh, that I had to deal with all the technical issues, so I forgot to say hi to everybody but hi all i hope everybody's doing nice and great and all of that as we are just going to get started now uh let's see i don't want any path stuff up but apparently it does that okay well we'll deal with it so uh, hi everyone how are you all doing i hope you're all fine one two three four but we're gonna start right here two three four five I think we should make uh, like a little square where you actually enter the zoo. So that should be interesting. And then at some point we can uh, continue there. Now I have not set up an area of course because well I was quite surprised. Five, six, seven, eight, something like that. I was quite surprised that I lost my save game. So we just have to start setting up a little bit of the basics. And then we're going to jump into building a habitat of course. And the Malayan Tapir could well be one of those. Sounds interesting. Now, when I cannot play the game myself, I want to see more snow leopards. Oh, the snow leopard. Well, I guess at some point I should write this down or maybe one of you can write it down and, and send it to me later. All the great ideas for animals so that we can get going with that at some point. That would be very nice, I, th I think, so that we can, uh, can actually build all those nice habitats. All right, we have the space, so that's great. We have a square now where people can start to come in. Um, I guess at some point we can put some information stuff in here, maybe some toilets, things like that. But I guess it's time to uh, just set everything up. Now, normally I begin on this side, so let's change things up a little bit. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is build a, a little path for the uh, staff. And then we're going to add all the staff buildings we need. Later on, we will move them into different areas of the zoo. But for now, of course, we have some mandatory buildings. So let's just get them going. So we need a trade center, for instance. So let's build that. Then we need a keeper's hut. Oh, yeah. Well, let's do a large keeper's hut because we're going to get a lot of keepers. Hey, we can do a normal quarantine. We don't need that many. Research center, we don't have to do any research, so we don't have to build that. A staff room, well, it's nice if the staff can rest for long periods of time, so let's build a big one. Surgery, of course we want a good surgery, and of course the workshop. All right, so at least we have all the buildings now. So we can get going and we can hire animals and stuff like that. Now, when I cannot play the game, I want to see... Yeah, the snow leopard. That's great. We're going to get a snow leopard at some point. We just have to hire a couple of people so that we have everybody that we actually need. One, two, three. So at least they can bring in the animals quickly. We need at least one mechanic. Security guard. 
guess that can be either Kevin or, or Herodef with her whip. That could be a good one. A veterinarian. There we go. We will make it better, stronger, fast. We will make the six million tree hugger man. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Yeah, this could be a tree hugger zoo. Why not? All right. Let's put these people on the floor. That might be nice. That's it. Let's pause again. All right. Well, we can start our way up this. Now, I think what we can do now is maybe make some... Um, ideas and then we can go with that so normally when you enter a zoo you have like a big square i guess but also in zoos you have a lot of places where you just have to walk and you see some plants and trees around you but there's not like real animals and that's something i want to uh i want to put in this zoo as well but i think we're going to go with some pathing here around some sort of a habitat or maybe two habitats and then uh I think we're going to make a path here as well. And then here can be a little patch of nature. And then we'll just do it a bit like this. And then I think this could be an area for maybe two habitats. Because this is quite large. So if we can set up two habitats in here, that would be nice. Um, now, we already got a call for the uh, tapir. Let's see the Malayan tapir. Let's see how big of a habitat they need. 600, and if they have some kids, I think we're gonna, how many can we put in a group? One or two, okay, so we can only have two anyway, and then some kids. So somewhere around 600 should be enough, a bit of water in there. So if we go to the uh, barriers, and we just set up a null barrier around this whole area, then at least we can see how big this area is. And then we can make it so that we can get the uh, top here in here at some point. I think this should be quite big. So we might even be able to put in like two or three habitats, maybe. Now the big challenge this time is going to be to... Um, hide most of the staff uh, things like the staff pathing and, and things like that all right let's put in a door at least somewhere for now so that we can see how big this is i think oh now the door's gone again there we are all right how big is this this should be quite big Twenty-eight thousand. 2812 well that's rather big so we can make multiple habitats in here let's see if we build i don't know a barrier somewhat like this and then we can check how big this is oh this is not attached and you can't get an extra door in Oh, this is weird. That's better. All right, now we can get the extra door in here. And now we can see how big this is. This is almost 600. So we're good here. We're good here. I know my date here at death. <laughs> to be fair, effects were so bad back then. Nothing was believable. Oh, wow. Can you just have them all? The jamming zoo where the animals jams and goes hyper wild. <laughs> That's cool. Well, we can make a vibrant zoo, something like that. That's nice. All right, so we have this one and we have this one. Now we're going to edit this barrier. Because we're going to get the door out and we're going to get some stuff out here. Because this is just optional for now. But now we know how big we have to go. So let's just delete all of this. And then I think I'm going to select this bit. And we're going to change this up a bit just to make it slightly bigger. Because I think we need a little bit of extra space for the beard stop here just to have a nice habitat. So let's see how big this is now. 700. That should be okay. Then I want to move the door. And, uh, no, I don't want to click that. I want to move the door. Yeah, there we go. I think what we can do is put the door... Oh, man. This is not good for me. Yeah, this is better. Door here, and then we just make a path around here. We can make a, um... 
keeper's path there so that they can enter both uh, zoos, both uh, habitats, and we can build like the stables here. So that we build one big building and then all the animals can sleep in there from this habitat, but also from the habitat in there. So we'll have to see how we can make that work, but we'll, we'll try something. Uh, maybe it's better then if we just get rid of that for now and we just build build around here we need a door though to be able to click it easily so we'll put a door here for now that should be it then we'll see hello Bex. nice of you to join us i appreciate you streaming this game i've always found it pretty difficult it requires a ton of creativity yeah that's hard but I, I struggle with that too, but what helps me a lot is just to try and try and to sometimes watch others. And then I usually am able to, to do something with it. All right, I think we have to start working on this now. Uh, let's take a quick look at the animal and at the barrier it needs, because it might be grade three, two meters high. Okay, so we have to work on that. But uh, how are you doing, Bex? two meters high so what can we make for a nice thing in there that's two meters high two meters all the way so high it's like you have to already work on something to make it look nice uh let's go to walls for now this will not be the right one but what we could do is something like this put glass in there then at least you get a big viewing gallery could be something and then we can do that in the same style as the building that we're going to construct because they need a stable anyway they need a place to sleep just have to find the right stuff that we can build it from where's the animal actually from malaya so it's probably from malaya somewhere in asia it lives in the aquatic tropical and temperate okay so needs to be somewhat tropical i guess so we can take that into account when we build a facility where they can sleep so maybe something bamboo could work i think this could work well with the black animal in terms of coloring and stuff so this could be something and then if we take into account that they will come in from here the keepers that is then they will go here so we have to build like the big stable here or maybe already start with the stable out here that could work that could work i will thank you yeah that's good here played some prison architect one this morning Ooh, that is very nice i'm really waiting for two to come out but still might take some time oh the angle snap is on let's take that off so we can steer this precisely uh, I'm just going to build a structure right now and then we can move it in place once it's done. Of course, we need a place for the keepers to get in and out, which could basically just be like this. Let's move this one into here so that they're all on the same side. Then we put this one in here. Then this could be the entrance towards their, the actual door. So we hide that up a bit. But now the animals do need an actual inside area, which could be just one wide. That is fine. They don't need that much space, actually. And if we do it like this, the keepers can go in the middle. One part of the animals can go on this side. The others can go on that side. So th that should work. We just need to give them a place to get in and out. And of course, we should make it it's not completely the same. So maybe this could already be big enough, I think. And the zookeepers don't have to walk all the way through. So this could just be it. And then if we exit it, now we can move the whole structure. And we can place it where we want it to be. Although I want to see the habitat. Yeah, we can always change this up, of course. But it should be almost in the right place. And I think we just have to move this up towards the road now. So that when we build the road here... The path for the keepers can be uh, can go in here, and then on two sides the uh, they can take care of the animals. 
We have to build some sort of a wall here too, of course, so that the animals stay in. That can actually be quite tough though. Hmm, I forgot about that. So let's go to that. Let's edit this group. There we go, we go further into the bamboo. And then, let's see, this is two meters high. So this is high enough for the animals so that they can't get out. And we'll put it on this side too. And then here comes the door. So we have to kind of build something of a doorway in here. Or we have to start placing the door there already and then finish it off. Because right now I can't really finish it. Um... There's actually not a lot of options with this bamboo. These have the other pieces, but this one... Oh, here's the other ones. Okay. Oh, they're just not in the right place. Okay, interesting. Or two by two. Yeah, that's the same. But we can put this in later and make it so that it fits with the door. So that can go well. I guess we have to put the door in here now. So let's exit this. Let's go here. Let's edit the barrier. And let's move the door. Uh, I have a better idea. Let's select it all. Let's delete this barrier. And then we're going to start right here. So that we know that it's going to work out and that it will fit in the right place. And from there on we can then make the barrier. Alright, there we go. We just have to make this all the null barrier, of course. And then the barrier has to go straight through this wall. Of course, this takes a bit of time. I'm really sorry about that, but uh, it'll all be fine. And then from here on out we can take like the barrier that way. We can do that later on. And from this part we'll do the same. So the wall goes out here. And then I guess we can go somewhere in the middle here. And then... Let me rotate a bit so we can see where we are. And then the other animals can also go in there, of course. Now, I'm going to finish this off now to see how big it is. Whether it's the right size. We might have to delete this part a little bit later on and move it a bit but we'll see about that and of course if you have ideas or things about this uh, little uh, habitat let me know just make sure you tag me in the chat i'm trying to keep my eye on the chat it's a bit hard of course because this also takes um a lot of time to just try and and, and build it and uh, continue with it so i'll try to keep my eyes on the chat all right this was what this is what i meant uh, by adding this in so that it completely fits in so we can just put this in here now and then this should all be good and this completely fits in so basically we have the um, stables here for the animals and we should probably already put all the stuff in here that they actually need before we put the roofing on so we need animals like the beards or the Malayan tapir. Luckily, I know the alphabet, so I can go in here. I actually don't know what ground they need, but um, we can fix that later on. But we can now put in some bedding and stuff so that they have their um, resting place in here. something like this and then maybe on this side we should not do things like bedding but maybe get like the water bowl and so that they have an inside place as well where they can drink i always like that and then we'll get one outside too but they also have one inside then a plant screen okay apparently they enjoy that and maybe we should get a scent marker in here if we can yes we can no i don't think so we'll put the no, that's also not for in here. We'll do that later. At least they have a water bowl in here. Um, then it's probably a wise idea to make sure that the pathing here works out. Something like that. So that works. Does it not go into the habitat? No. Okay. 
And another thing we can do right now, if we go to construction, and then probably to the props, general props. Here could be some stuff like a uh, a shovel and stuff like that that we can put up here, so that the um, it actually looks like this is an area that is used by the keepers where they can do their stuff. So um, I'm going to put up some stuff here. I think that would actually be fun. I don't know if there's like, is there like some hay or something? Oh yeah. That's yeah, but that's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Maybe we can get that from the habitat soon. Let's see. So we have to put up some stuff that it looks like this is a real habitat and they would be, uh, they would be working here. Let's put on the angle snap so we can just easily make it go up and then straight up, of course. And let's turn it this way. And now if we put it back here. It's like there is a shovel standing here. Now maybe, just maybe we should slightly tilt it and then go a little bit down. And then a little bit back so that it really hits the wall. Yes. And now there is also a shovel there to shovel some shit or whatever. So these are ways that you can really make the habitat look like it is actually used and it's an actual habitat. So there are some decorations that you can use for that, which is fun. And um, I highly suggest looking for these things and trying some out and making sure that you decorate stuff a bit like this, because this is a lot of fun. And we can put a host car in here. All right, there we are. Interesting. I like this. There we are. And uh, now we've decorated this a little bit. There was a nice sack. Oh, a sack of what? Did I miss that? Oh, yeah. Great. Great, 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 great. Oh, thanks. Well spotted. All right, let's see. The angle snap is on, so we can just put this down on the ground. And then maybe we can stack a few. You know, like this, and then we'll do three. And then... All right, let's get in a bit. I think it's these little things. I mean, later on, when we put the roof on, you probably won't see it anymore. But sometimes it is these little things that really add to the the whole idea of the zoo and i love that so let's put one in the uh in the wheelbarrow and then i want to put it up i don't know if this is going to work but we'll have to try uh, we can do two i think It, it's these little things that can make a, a zoo come to life a bit. So now there's some stuff here. Of course, we have to still work on this side too. I think it might be smart to try and put the door in here as well. Um, habitat perimeter, yes. All right, it's no longer on angle snap, but it just snaps to the other side. And that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, it says angle snap, but the angle snap is off. So that's weird. Let me go to here. See if the angle snap is on. Yes, let's turn it off and see if that works now for the habitat door too. Yeah, now that it's off, it does work on this side as well. All right, here we go. But the problem is I probably can't put it as close as I want to. But yeah, it will just snap away. But we'll work our way. Oh, now the door is gone. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, let me do it like this. Yes. All right, let's make this all the null barrier. We'll fix this away. So we'll make a little bit of bamboo here later on as well. But for now, at least the door is in. That's an important thing. And so the keepers can come in here. Nobody else can see then. So we have to put a door in here. And then that is out of sight. 
so they can easily check on the animals but uh, nobody else can see them and i think that's uh, that's an interesting thing so let's work with that let's try and find a nice door not a dodo a door i'm laughing about all the excitement over a sack well it was a really nice sack that's not really a fitting door Seems a little bit too sturdy. That seems a bit small. A door panel. Hmm. There's not a lot of very nice doors, I think. That's a bit small. Maybe we should just go for the double metal door or something like that. Ah, oh, that also doesn't look that nice. That's the whole thing with this game. Sometimes you have to take time to look around a bit until you find the right thing that you want. The Asia door is not really the theme I want to. Can we change the color on this thing? No. Sometimes you can change colors, sometimes you can't. If it's, if you can change the colors, that's really nice. So look, from this one we can just change the color into like something yellow and then you already get a different feel. All we have to do now is put it up and see how that goes. Let's put on the angle snap so that we can... Uh, let's see, like this and then like that. And then see if we can somehow fit it in, maybe with some extra bamboo around it. But at least then we'll have a door here. I think this can work. It's better than most of the doors we have so far here. So I'm just going to go with this, yes. And then we'll go in here, edit this group. And then we'll just find the extra bamboo for the walls. And we can just fix this up pretty easily, or at least we should be able to. Now this might be a bit too big. It's two by four. It's actually the right size. Uh, yeah, we'll just try this. Let's see. Does this work? Slightly to the right. Slightly more in. There we are. With bamboo it doesn't really matter. As long as it's just attaching then it's already fine. Uh, it needs to come forward a bit in here. Yes. No. It needs to rotate slightly in this case. Oh boy. This is already taking up a lot of time. But as long as we're having fun. It's fine. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on. Yes. All right, there we are. Now we have a fitting door that they can use. Bolt lock would be on the outside, maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Why do this easy if we can make it hard? All right. Well, there it is. That's what you wanted. Very good. There we are. Now they can't get out once they're in, but hey, who cares? All right, that's done. Um, I think we need to attach this too and decorate this up too so that we are done with that. And then we can put the... Um, Put up the actual wall, uh, this roof, and then we're done with this whole area. Maybe do some groundwork, but that's all. Um, I'm just gonna put a small feeding. No, just water. We'll just put water in here for them. There we are. All right. Um, yep. Oh, bamboo. I forgot about the bamboo. Why don't we just ride bamboo so that's faster? All right, let's see, because we have to somehow make this... No, not bam, blah, blah, bamboo. We somehow have to make this work now. And... We can probably do that. But 
not like this because we don't have a short enough piece to uh to go at it like that but hey i don't care i'm happy with this we're not going to see this anyway because this is all closed off so should not make this too hard and now it is fenced off what we did not do is extend the barrier for this one so we might have to do that too edit the barrier and then we can just attach it to this one and it will run there and then we can add that on later and now we're going to go from this side and all we have to do is make sure that it it goes all the way out of the habitat otherwise we will get calls all the time that the animals escaped which might not be so good if they're asleep so all right we can go back to four meters now all right there we are that's all we have to do for now let's put the roof on here and we're done question is what do we want do we want like a bamboo roof which is just flat or do we want a special roof something more interesting let me know i'll just start looking for a bit and then we'll see what uh, what we want i don't think a glass roof will fit with it has to be something fitting of course i mean a metal roof does not really fit with this the ocean thatched roof could be something, maybe. The palm thatched. I think thatch could go with this because this is like something of a nature place. Um, let's see. Don't really need a roof over this because this is already roofed over. All right. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, that is something. Then, what else? Now, what we could do is put some glass in here so that they have basically something of a skylight. I don't think this is the right size, but maybe there is something we can actually fit in here. It has to be the flat one, and then we just have to squeeze it in, but that could be something. Let me find the right one. All right, let's go all the way up here. Now let's move this up. And if we just place it like that, we have something of a skylight. So there's some more light in there. We can uh, look inside. I think that could be really interesting to actually look inside. So that could be fun. And now we have our house up for the animals and a way for the uh, keepers to get in. That's already now. So now we have to work on the actual wall of the habitat um another i think we should go for some stones i think it has to be some light stone that works with the bamboo this might actually work with the bamboo isn't it just going to fill with water when it rains uh maybe but there's some secret watering system in there so well don't worry about it <laughs> There's not a lot of aqua rocks though, so we might need to desert, red rock, savannah rock, nah, that's also just, but these are all off color anyway. Or maybe we should go for some volcanic rock. <laughs> I know, because the animals are black as well, so we have to, oh, tropical rocks, it's a tropical animal. Alright, we're gonna go with tropical rocks. That's going to be it, because we are getting a tropical animal now this one might be slightly too big i 
And this, of course, is where the little triangle is where the two habitats meet up. Now, I want to check if this is not a little bit too far inside. No, it's not. Just a little bit. Okay. There we go. We are on the way with something of a hab Whoa, with a habitat wall here. All right. So as soon as you lower it and you don't click it into place, it will just come up again. So I have to lower it and then click it into place. Let's move this one. I am actually going to put the big one in the corner now because then we have the uh, we have the space for it right here and it has a flat side that can just uh, where's the flat spot here like this so we can put it onto the building slightly there it is hey this is a different color oh this is the desert rock that's not tropical Tropic. Oh yeah, well these are apparently also tropical. Alright, you go away. We'll take this one. And we'll rotate it a bit. Then we lower it a bit. That's where the big rock goes. Then we add this one to it. Uh, what happened there? Oh, I hit Control and Z to turn it, but apparently that did something else. All right, problem is I don't see the barrier wall anymore, so I don't know if I'm going the right way. There we go. And of course, if you have questions or suggestions, just tell me. I will try to work with them and answer them and help you out and... With suggestions I can work of course because I want to do a nice habitat and for that I need all your help so Sometimes rocks really need to get into each other to make it look nice. But it can be quite hard to actually blend them in. Alright. Every time I click to adjust it, the habitat barrier goes away. But I guess we're getting there and this should also be high enough. And then we have to think about another piece of barrier, of course. Ooh, this is interesting. Let's lower this a bit and on top we can put some other pieces. Oh, uh, that's slightly bigger than I anticipated. so hard to see some real uh like dimensions when you're trying this out so but we do our best there we go now we put this on top i hope this is all high enough otherwise we have to make some adjustments to it soon but uh I think it should be okay. That's the rock we already have there. Okay, now let's see if we can... Oh, that's a bit too big. If we can fill this up with a couple of nice rocks. But then just a couple of smaller ones that will actually... Make it feel like we actually stacked some rocks here because we had not enough rocks or something like that.
No, 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 no. Like that, yes. Now, I think we soon have to start watching this from the other side as well. Yeah, see, there's a big hole on this side we have to fill up, but that's, it's not too bad. Yep, this is interesting. Basically, like, uh, a big puzzle with rocks, like Shiradev says. I wish puzzling with rocks was easy in real life. Yeah, that's not really the case, isn't it? <laughs> It's quite hard to puzzle this together in real life. All right, this should just go a bit like that. I just want it slightly more like this. And then we have to put something in the back here that supports it like this. All right, so the stones are done. We have the uh, back wall. Now we have to start on the front wall here. Um, so we have to basically, I guess, make a fence of ourselves that's two meters high, but that the people can really look through. That's basically the whole idea now. Um, let's see what happens if we type Asia. Because then we get all these Asian things and that could be something interesting there small column this is a small one and this is a large one okay i think this is quite big actually but okay interesting one meter two meters this is a two meter pole i don't know if this is the color that i would go for Oh, this could actually work. Then we put in some glass. They needed a two meter fence and this is two meters high. So this gives us a clue. It also shows me that the stones aren't high enough. Or was this four meters high? Oh, it doesn't say how high this is. Interesting. Four meters. Oh, this is the four meter one. Okay, so we can go with the two meter one maybe. This is probably the two meter one. Let's put it down. And then this is also two meters. Yes. Okay. So this is the height it has to be. So this is going to be our starting point. Then we'll build another one here. And now we have to put something in here that will make it look nice and interesting. Uh, let's go with glass so that we can make something with glass. Uh, should be a wall piece. Probably. This is two meters high. Oh, but we can't look through it. That might not be ideal. One meter, two meter by two meters. All right, so we could do something like this. Is there a four meter long piece? Yeah, I think that's better. That looks nicer, I think. All right, so if we put this in between here... We move this one over a bit further, like this. Uh, oh, we just have to not put this unit in. That will make it easier. We just have to build one side of it and the top and the bottom. And from there on, we can just place them all next to each other. All right, let's go back to... Uh, I typed Asia, I believe. Yeah, this is the support beam uh because now i think we have to put one oh man these are so long at least we have to put one on the bottom i think so that it looks like it is a sturdy thing so here we go like this otherwise it might seem a bit weak and I think this will make sure that it looks really strong. Okay, that's good. Basically, this could already be it. We want to put something on top there. It should be really thin. And not a big thing. 
Ooh, I have an idea. Can we find a single bamboo stick? Yes. Two meters, but I need one that's four meters. Yes. All right, there we go. What if we put this on top? Because this is basically the uh, whole idea of the habitat with bamboo. And with this on top, I'm just going to lower it into the uh, wall like this. So that you only see it from one side. I think we have to lower the glass slightly too. Yes. Then it should fit the habitat because we have the bamboo there. And then we basically have created a fence now that we can hopefully use all around the habitat. All right, let's put up the barrier. Oh, we can't do that now. Okay, well, we'll just build this and then... From here on out, we'll see how things go. Let's see. It has to start somewhere here with the rocks, I guess. So maybe we have to adjust the um, rocks here in the corner for a little bit. I'll just put it up somewhere here. This looks like niche. Okay, interesting. All right, I have to put it a little bit over each other. Otherwise, the bottom won't really fit in because uh, there's a little thing there. But what I can do, I have an idea. If I just copy this one and make this go a little bit like that, that will help out a lot. And now if we copy this one, it should just be slightly easier to make this work. And I think we can also go around corners with this, not too hard. We just put it in each other a little bit like this. And then it should probably still work. Yeah, I think so. Let's just go with it and see see what it looks like once we make this uh, done. And of course, luckily, we did not put the pathing in and stuff. So we can all, always just change that. And we can also already pretty easily change out the barriers. The um, null barrier that we put in. And it's always wise to put in this first and then work on the real barrier and the pathing for the people. Because this is usually easier than doing it the other way around. If you put the path in already and you want to put this next to the pathing that can be really hard all right well this is an interesting fence i think i have to make some corners and stuff in it because it looks nice all right now this might be a tricky one because this one has to go all the way like this I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this. And then once we're done, I'm going coming back here to, to fix that. And make that just a little bit more neat. And of course, now here we're going to get into a little trouble. <laughs> but I guess if we fit this in good, it should not be too much of a problem. Not exactly how I want it, but um, nobody will see that anyway. And now here, what we can do is select the under piece. Yes, go like this. And then we copy this one and we just make this a bigger column. And now it's just like it's supposed to be like that. All right, here we are. We have the um, outer wall, I think. Now, what I like to do is usually just copy this. So I get all of this, I pick it up or I copy it and I place it somewhere in the zoo so that if I really need it, I can always find it back and I know what I've built. So let's just put it down there. Then that part can go. And now we always have a spare part somewhere. 
And now we just have to make the uh, rocks here fit in. Which can be tricky business, but... Um, Alright, let's... Let's see what we can do and how we can do that. I actually think we can put this one a little bit more back up again. And then... No, 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 that wasn't supposed to happen. So sorry, sometimes I hit the wrong buttons. I can't really help it. I'm just uh, not so perfect in this game. <laughs> All right, this now basically kind of fits. Okay. And then... We'll just pick this up and put it away. That one we'll just delete. And then soon enough we will be uh, adding some extras in here, I think. Okay, let's put it up like this. And now let's go. It doesn't do what I want. Come on. Yes. We need to go a bit lower. And then let's go to nature. Still set to tropical, so we find the uh, rocks that we need pretty fast. Yes, like this. And then... Can we put up... A, oh, that's a little bit too big. I guess what we can do now is just rotate this. Well, this part doesn't look good, but for the rest it last looks okay, I think. to be a smaller rock that goes up here. Or in here or something like that. Alright, how does it look on this side? That's okay. Alright, there we are. And here we have basically the uh, first steps of the habitat. Let me check the stone wall. It appears to be closed off. We have the uh, enclosure here. We have the main path. So now we have to get a path around this. Let's see what we have that could look nice with this. I don't really know. Maybe some tree bark or something. Um... Why don't... Oh, there it is. I was already one. Why don't I get a path? But it's connecting there. All right. Well, we're going to start right here in front of the uh, habitat so that we can get it close to, but not too close. I do want it close so that they can actually watch the animals and we don't have to do a lot of stuff there. And because this is not an official barrier, we can basically just go around it like this and nobody will complain about it. And of course, if you have another idea, for instance, about the path, let me know. We can easily change it out for something else. So that's not a big problem. All right, let me now move over here. And then we'll try and do it like this. So now, yeah, now we can connect it. And it's still very close to the habitat. Uh, no, I don't like it like that. Maybe if we do it first like this. Yes, that's better. And now we're going to go from this side on. Yes. All right, there we are. We have something of a road going around it, so that works. Then I guess we could just continue with the path from up here.
We could go. No, that's yeah, something like this. Um. So now people just walk in from here. They can go all around. And we should do the same here then. Now if you hit the control button, you can do this. If you don't do it, it will snap to one of the rows. But if you hit the control button, you can actually place it exactly where you want. And now I can go to this side first. And then we can go to that side. And if you hit the Z, it will try to make a nice... Uh, some sort of attached area. Just the way I want it. So here we are. And now we can make some nature here. People can walk around this habitat. So that is fixed. So I guess what we need now is to put the animals in. I hope it's... Uh, first work on the barrier. First work on the barrier. Let me edit this barrier. Because this does not fit how it is supposed to fit. So let's go like this. Then select all of this. From there on. Uh, in Inside the stones it's okay. So we're just going to continue from here. And then work our way up like this. I think we can go to four meter steps now. And then we can put the animal in and start decorating the habitat. And of course, if you have comments, suggestions, whatever, let me know. Always interested and willing to listen and to see what we can do better, of course. So... I just hope uh, this all makes up a little bit for the fact that I lost the other save. All right, how big is it? 660. Now, the animal needs water. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. What about bathrooms, food, etc.? Yeah, we're going to get that too. This is just the first habitat. Um, and um, they already have a water bowl in there, but we need some other stuff. But before we put animals in, these animals needed some water. So we have to make sure that they have actually have a place where they can get into some water. Um, now, usually it's very tempting to do this close to the uh, wall. But the problem with that is that then the animals won't be able to... Um, or you won't, the animals won't be able to get close to the wall and the people can, can't really see them. So if we do like some patch here, maybe... I don't know how big this is, so we'll have to check that. It could be more interesting... Uh, because then they can walk all the way around the water. Let's see how big this is. 83 square meters. They needed 75, I believe. So this could work. At least now we know that this could work. All we have to do now is make sure that this gets a little bit smoother. And that will probably lower the amount of water. So we have to uh, get the size a big bit, bit bigger. All right, here we have a nice water pit. Have you tried make a real wildlife park? Just huge areas and no fences, all animals in the same place. Could be exciting. Uh, well, of course, you have to be very picky with which animals you put where. Because the problem is, of course, that um, some animals are predators and others are the prey. So that could be interesting. All right, this should all be good now. Uh, so that could be something. Um, I have ideas for like a little savannah area or something where we just build a big savannah with elephants and 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 all those animals that can go together and then also to do like a little jeep tour through it because you can do those things that would be fun i think but uh, we'll have to see for now we're gonna start with these animals now we have one with a silver medal that means that it's a pretty good one this one is not so good and we have two ones with a bronze medal they are okay I want the male and the female, so let's adopt this one and this one. And then we're going to bring these into the zoo. No path to the destination. Yes, there is a path to the destination. Alright, we have to see. Sometimes you get into these very little issues that they don't have a path. Um, and then sometimes it's fixed when you unpause for a bit. And another time you have to... See, there they go. So now they can get in. Very good. And then once they're in, 
Will the animals actually eat each other or would the game just show the prey animal dead? I believe that the animals will actually uh, attack each other, but you don't really see the fighting and stuff. You just see like the tiger go to, I don't know, the zebra. And then you will see a dead zebra laying there, some, some bones and stuff. So that I don't know, because I've never done such unethical things, of course. So um, I don't know. Maybe we should try it at some point, but not right now. Now we're going to get into this one. Here they come. And then, of course, we're going to pause and we're going to decorate this whole thing up. There they are. Oh, wow, they're big. I thought they would be smaller. Interesting. Now, I have not set up... If you go to the settings, that might be something for all of you to check out. You can go to the animal settings and you can tell them, like, um, what things should be on. So their welfare should be on um, or off. Now, what I usually try to do is like things like stress off. So if there's a lot of people watching here, the animals will get stressed. And because this is just a sandbox zoo, we want to build a nice zoo. I turn those things off. Social groups, I turn off. So it doesn't matter um, whether they are in uh, the right amount of animals or not. Um, enable overcrowding. No, we're gonna, not going to do that. Of course, we're going to let them die and stuff like that. Um, but those things will take off. There's a lot of options you can actually take off. Um, so predation and fear you can put on. Things like that. Enable water cleanliness. Then we have to clean the water all the time. I put that off right now. Uh, because we don't have a water thing in there. We're just going to build a nice zoo. And I don't want all of the um, things in there. Are they happy with their habitat? Well, we're trying to figure that out. They have a hard shelter. But it's insufficient space apparently. Maybe I have to put in an extra sleeping place there or something. They need some more short grass. They need less long grass. They need some more soil. So that's what we're going to work on. And then hopefully... Oh, apparently the swimming area is too small. All right. Well, that will be the first thing to deal with. That's why I always bring the animals in so that I can actually see whether I've built them the uh, habitat that they actually need. Because if you don't bring them in, you will never know. This might just fix the uh, swimming area. It just added three meters, not enough. So let's continue with that. They need an actual area to swim. Uh, which might be... Which is interesting, but... Uh, I don't know. We'll check if this is good enough now. So let's unpause takes a bit it calculates and now it says 60 so that's good now so that's how you can see whether you have built the right uh, habitat or not um let's go to habitat now and let's start to put in like another medium sleeping place and that should probably already uh, fix that straight off oh it actually says less shelter space so that's not good But hey, we're going to leave it like this is now because they have, they have a place to sleep. Or do they need a big sleeping place? Maybe that could be the thing. We can try. Let's see. Let's delete this and this. And let's put in a large sleeping spot. That might actually make the difference. So let's see. What if we unpause now? Does it change? Does it do anything or not? Apparently not. <laughs> Or sometimes you've put up too many of these things in here. So when you take like a small bedding off, it might already work. Sometimes it's just a bit trial and error and we have to see. It's now up to 85%. That's okay. Let's see. They need more short grass. So let's work on some short grass. Apparently there's some long grass in here somewhere. We're just going to make this all short grass. And from there on, we're going to work on some soil around the uh, water, I think. Let's just get rid of the long grass. All right, here we go. Uh, no, it should be 50%, but the size should be smaller. Basically, what I try with these zoos is to uh, not really build like the animal wants it in this game but we're going to try and build a nice zoo of course that's what we're doing so 
uh, as then the animal needs actually can really limit you in terms of um, what you can actually build. So that's why I'm changing that a bit and I'm not really going with that. We're just going to change it up like this. All right, this is all good now. They have all they need. They need some coverage, but that's what we're going to work on. And they need enrichment. All else is fine. Hey, PSV. Nice of you to join us. Just back from watching Dune. And what do I see? You see a sand dune here. No, this is not a dune. All right, there you go to the second uh, dune movie then. I guess. Nice. All right, here we are with the Malayan tapirs. And we have to decorate their habitat. Now, first of all, they need some stuff to eat and things like that. So let's put that in and then we can work all the nature around it and maybe cover up some things. I think if we do the feeding area somewhere here, that might actually be cool. Ah, it will just lower the land. That's not supposed to happen. Let's just put it on then and see if we can maybe put some grass and stuff around it. Guess we have to give them some toys. That should make them really happy. A scratching Scots pine tree or a teramin tree. Oh, this is a cool tree. As long as they can scratch their back on it, it's good. Just can't put it all the way on the back here, but um, apparently they need a scratching tree. Now this could already work for the enrichment. Yep, that's now 100%. Patmos painting grass. <laughs> yeah, I love painting grass. All right, there we go. So that's done. They have all they need. A feeding place and stuff. So now we can go decorating. Now this was a teramin tree. Question is, do we have more of those? Because then we can put up more. I don't think so. A water tupelo. Wow, these are big. Could be interesting to place such a big tree in here somewhere, I guess. For some shade and just for the looks of it. Now from a distance you really see a big tree. No. Alright. And of course, if you have ideas and stuff like that, just let me know. I'll see what I can do with it. Palm trees... I don't want too big a trees in the background here, but I do want trees there. But I just think this tree won't fit in. So we're going to get this out now and then we'll put it in later. If we actually manage to, to find some nice trees that fit in and maybe then get it in there too. A beech tree. Wow, this is also big. I don't know why it's all so big. Give me a normal tree. Poplar tree. Oh, this could be interesting. Bit boring, though, I think. The Brazil nut tree. Well, as long as it's not the nuts tree, it's fine. A cabbage tree. Is that where cabbages grow? <laughs> Common ash tree. I do want some big trees to color up the habitat, so we have to get some big trees in here. All right, that is at least something. Guess we have to put in some reeds as well at the water, but not so high, so... We could just do it a bit like this and then lower it so you don't get such high uh, types of reed. And of course, every now and then we have to check whether these are actually plants the animal likes. It is. Okay, that's good. Now some saltwater bushes that can also go in the corners here a bit so that you don't really... Uh, so that the, the rock areas also come to life a bit. I think that's always a very important thing. And of course, if you have questions, suggestions, whatever, tag me and I'll try to read it and answer it, of course. 
those are plants that died. Oh wow, that's a pretty big tree. One of the fun things, but also one of the hard things in this game. Finding the right trees and stuff that will suit your habitat, that will make it look better and nicer. All right, I think we need to get a big tree in here too. Oh, but they don't like this one, so let's get it out. The holly tree. Oh, this is actually a cool tree. Do they like it? Yeah, they like it. All right, well, this can make the... Um, background disappear a little bit there so i think that might add something that's cool and at some point we're just going to need some big bushes of course yeah we can't put it on there right now some palm trees but then very small oh these are cute palm trees kentia palm All right, interesting. Can you place moss on the stones? Uh, we don't have some uh, like free moss, but there are rocks with moss on it. Um, but that's very limited. That's one of the things I don't like so much because that is quite limited. But I'll show you soon and then you can see what I mean. I do like the fact that there's some actual shade and things in the game. They've done a really good job with that. Right, there's plants growing there. A ponytail palm tree. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, this is a cool looking tree. Maybe if we put it a bit like this, it might be even better. I don't want to put it in the middle of the habitat, though, because we have to make sure that we also get the... Um, tree that they used to uh, rub themselves on. But that could go there. I think this could work. Okay, so that's okay. They're happy with their habitat. So let's continue with nature. Now we start from the front, from the top. And now it's time also for some bushes. Well, that's big. I don't really want that, but it's good to have a bush somewhere. Could be somewhere here up front because it's small. Oh, but they don't like this one. All right. We can all scramble to a new arm for wifey. <laughs> yeah, get a GoFundMe page for a new arm. Interesting. The beach sapling. Bamboo. I don't think these animals will actually eat bamboo, will they? I don't know. Who knows? Does anybody know? Does Do these animals actually, like, eat bamboo and stuff? Or... It's just so tall. What if we lower it? Oh, then this doesn't look that good. If we lower this, no, it's so tall. That's not the right bamboo if we're going to put in bamboo. We do need some shrubbery around here. Oh, maybe we can do this like around one of those trees. Ah, that's interesting. Ah, this could be good. Yeah, they love this. And we can put some of these on the ground. Also around this tree. Just like it grows around the foot of that tree. I like that. Google Translate can help you. Yeah, that's true. If you want to know what wifey is saying, just use Google Translate because she... Uh, oh, we have some mossy stones here too. And these aren't that big. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. These are not so big stones. Great. But they don't have the shape I want. So I'm still going to look further for this. 
Um, so here we have the Moshi Stones. Uh, no, not like that. And we can use these on the um, feeding plate here. Uh, let's see. Let's hit the X. And if we do put it up somewhat like this, we can hide a bit of the um, surroundings here, I guess. I think this needs to go... This one is too big. We need just the smaller ones, I guess. Where are they now? Uh, were it these ones? No, these ones. Oh, wow, that's really big. If we put it down, it might actually work. Yes. All right, this needs to go slightly up. Yes. And then also some plants. But now we've hided up the, um, the area a little bit. Uh, just want another one like these over on this little part here. Yes, okay. And now we can put some plants on there. I hope, I hope. Oh, that might be a bit too big. Well, of course, this takes some time. I'm just still really sorry that I lost my save game. I don't know where it went wrong, but apparently I must have done something wrong or it was indeed not compatible anymore. But um, all right. Well, at least there's some stuff in here. Do they enjoy this all? Yes. Are they happy now with the plants? Yes. Okay. All right, so here we have a habitat. Let's unpause. Let's make them walk. Are we happy with this? Is this okay? Do we want to see something else? Something more? I don't know. Maybe it needs some stuff on the bamboo because it's a bit boring out there. I think. I think it needs something on the, on the border there. Just don't know what. Oh, maybe we can put some of these on. And then use a regular plant here. I don't know if they actually enjoy this plant, so we have to check. Yes, they don't mind it. That's good. Now, it has something to it here. I, I like it a bit more when there's like... Some coverage. That would be nice. Okay, so that is something. Oh, that's a tree. I don't want a tree. It's just nice if we can cover up these little areas with some, some plants and stuff. It just makes it a tiny bit better. All right. Ah, now they're happy with their heart shelter. 83%, so that's good. But they have a little bit too short land and a little bit too short water. Oh, if that's it, then these are happy animals. 95%, so I'm happy with that. Well, let's just hope this whole area doesn't flood in the rain. Why is there rain? Get away, rain. All right, well... I guess we have our first habitat up. To answer your question before, Google says they do indeed eat bamboo. Ah, okay, so we could have put bamboo in it. I hope they don't eat their uh, little house, but uh, we'll see. Ah, this one's actually asleep in here. Oh, that's the smart one. He's laying in when it's raining and the other one's still outside. All right, well, oh, this rock is quite far in. <laughs> Let's move it out a bit because that doesn't look nice. Now I have to check the outside too, of course. Oh, that's not good. Let's move it backwards. Can they get out there? No. All right, so it's good that way. We don't want it in the building, of course. 
All right, well, I think all in all, we've built an okay first habitat. I have to say, I genuinely hate the rain. Can I turn off the rain? Access scenery, track collision, nope. Okay, well, then I guess we have to go here and put it on snow. No, 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 no. No clouds. We want no clouds. Always nice when you can control the weather. There we are. Better, better. All right, so we have been at it for one and a half hours. We've built the little entrance area. We've set up the basic things for the uh, so that the zoo can run. And we have our first habitat. There's a couple of things we can do. We can start to work on the next habitat, but we won't have time to do a lot of work on it because in, in like half an hour, 45 minutes, I'm done. We could also add some stuff here like nature so that the people actually walk around it. Uh, we could also work here like on a little information stand, something like that. So when you enter the zoo, you can get your information and a map for the zoo and stuff like that. That's basically, I guess, the three options for right now. Option one, should we build another habitat or at least start with it? That's all. Option two, work on the nature patch here. And option three, we'll build an information kiosk from scratch here. And so that people can actually get in, get some info and, and spread around the zoo. It's up to you. Let me know. And I can get a little drink by then. Well, that's already three votes for the information stand, I guess. All right, we can do that. So I'm going to pause then so that people won't be in the way. And uh, then we can see what we can do. Um, Where should it be? Where should it be? I think it could be here to the side. Uh, won't be making it too big, but also not too small. So I think... An area of... Or an area of six. We'll do an area of six, I think. Now, we still have the pathing here with the curbs on it. And I don't like those curbs on it. Curved slopes. But there's railing on the ground or whatever it is. Curbs on the ground path. Yes, on and off. And I don't want those curbs on there. I really want those curbs gone. I hate those. Align to the grid. All right. Well, apparently we have no choice right now, but it's okay. Okay, bye, wifey. Take care. See you soon. <laughs> All right. The information stand. Now, the interesting thing with the facilities is if we go to guest facilities, you can just get the information center counter right here. And you can use that and build your stuff around it. So that is really amazing that we can do that. So we can just build this in here. People can walk in. And we can decorate this all up and make this look very nice. So what I'm going to do is this. And we're also going to place one right here. Uh, we're going to do two. And then in the middle there will be the door where the people can enter and stuff. Something like that. So we'll have to see. Let's go to pathing now. Let's align to the grid. Right here. And then we'll add a road here to the select the grid. Can we make this a fix or not obstructed that's not good oh but there's all these bumps in the ground here that's not supposed to be there that is an issue all right so i guess let's just go back because now there's no bumps in the ground so apparently somehow those bumps in the ground happened when we did this let's go to terrain then we go to the flatten to foundation tool. Let's make this big. And now this should all be quite okay. Let's get those people away. Yes, they're gone. Now let's put down the facilities again. But maybe we should just put in the walls or something 
first. I don't know yet. I'm going to do that. We'll build the walls now first so that the structure is there. That will pre prevent the floor from going away. Yeah, the guys just stood there, but now they're gone. All right, we have to find the right piece that we can, can use for the... Uh, for the place. Now, I think it could be something with nice wood like this. This could be an interesting piece. Not going to do bamboo. We already have that. I don't like the brick straight off. This is also okay. What's this? Some metal structure. That's a bit weird. Not going to do that. I have other ideas for that stone. Oh, I like this wood. This is interesting. I think this can be okay for a... Um, information stand all right let's build the entrance pieces is this all we get so some have what i'm looking for others don't because yeah i want the arches ah we just have to put this on all i guess then we also get the arches ah my mistake conservation so I have an idea in my mind, and you'll see soon enough what it's going to look like. Just have a little patience. And then I really hope you enjoy what I'm going to build. Alright. Is this good? Not exactly, but we can work with it. Alright, now I'm going to exit. I'm going to click it, and now we're going to move it so that it's straight in the middle here. I think this is good. We have a little bit of space here and a little bit more space there. So it should move a little over on this side so that we have a little bit less space. Now this comes pretty tight if you want to make this really fit in the area. So there's a bit of space here and a bit of space there. That works. Now we're going to edit this group and now we can continue with the sides. Uh, I should have remembered what it was called so I could write the name in. Maybe we should just do that right now. No, nope, that's not the one. Go down. It was below here. Yep, this is the thing that we're looking for. Then we're going to build a wall here. On both sides, of course, and on the background. Just like this. Then there needs to be a wall here. Okay, and then the hard part comes. I hope I'm placing these right now. And this one should go because this is where the door should be. So that no, we do the door in the back. That's better. We'll do a door in the back here so that they can get in and out. That's the thing. And then we have some more space for other stuff as well, I think. Um, I think actually I'm going to leave these open and then um, I believe it should be a meter high why does this happen why 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 I don't know why that's not supposed to happen I don't want that does it happen with this? Oh, it happens with that one too. That's weird. I don't want that. All right. Well, then we'll put this one in because then it doesn't happen, apparently. And then maybe we can do just the smaller one in here so that they can look inside or something. I don't want it to be like an unfriendly area, apparently, but we have to make it like that. Okay, we'll just do it. Now we have to put in the information desks, of course, if we can. <laughs> and we can just put them on the ground level and then see if it actually works out the way I want it to. Well, this works, so that's good. And then this one works as well. So those are now in and now I should see if I could continue with this path. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. Malformed path. I think the path's great, but okay. Um, it's this one. And yeah, if we do this, it will just go straight off like that. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, 
it's a bit wonky with the parts sometimes the parts can be a real pain in well you can name the place but that's just it so there's no way we're gonna get a nice path in here so we'll leave it at this okay so the people come in they can go to the stands now so we have the information pieces up now we have to work on a little floor because this doesn't look like a nice floor and I want to give it its own floor. Now the best thing to do that is first of all get rid of all the long grass so that doesn't overgrow here anymore. And then we're just going to get into the construction. We have to get into the wall pieces and I think what we need is the... Uh, no, that's not the one I'm looking for. There's one that has like a very nice pattern in it, not the breeze wall blocks. And if you put those on the floor, it immediately makes it look good like a real floor. So I'm kind of looking for the one that I mean, of course. I think it's this one. Is it? No, there's no pattern on this one. There should be one like this with a pattern on it. That has like the stone pattern. I think it's this one. The painted brick wall. Now if you take a look at this. Um, you can see these little hexagons or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called actually. Uh, these little. In Dutch we call it a hek. Yep. I don't know the exact. Oh the hashtag. Um, those ones have to be placed on the grid. So they have a grid and if you add it to the building they have to be placed on a grid. The ones with this little icon don't have to be placed on a grid. You can move them freely always. So um, if you use this one we always can just move it freely which is a great thing to have. So that's what we're going to work with now. And if we zoom in you can see the stones there. This is still not the right one though. Or at least not the one that I wanted. I have to find it. Where is it? Snow blocks? No. Ah, I think it's this one. Yes, these this have the nice has the nice floor blocks. Alright, there we go. Now we put this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down like this. Yes. Then I'm going to copy this and attach two to each other. Like this. Yes. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to duplicate it and this is what we're going to use as the floor in here. So we're just going to put it in here. Then we have to either raise or lower it a bit but we'll find out. There we go. We just raise it a little bit like this. Then the people can walk on it. That's no problem. They'll probably their food their feet might disappear a little bit into the uh, flooring but I don't really care. But now at least the thing is we get a nice looking floor in here. And it's a bit different. You don't see the grass anymore. And you basically get the whole idea of a nice looking floor. Now I can already see that I did not raise it enough. Because here we can still see the um, pathways a bit. That's where the problem comes in with the um, standing sites that I have right now. Because the, the sites on the... Um, On the pathing are up and that's what we see right there so maybe we might have to pick a different pathing I don't know yet all right now we copy this one and we just move it up like this come on and now we have a very nice floor all over the place and we should be able to see by these people yeah you can see their feet disappear a little bit but that's it here we have the back door where we still have to put in a door. Let's do that straight away. Let's put in a door here that will actually fit the uh, the building. No, I don't think that will fit the building. Maybe just the simple African door. No. Problem is we don't have a lot of space to build around it. So it should be a pretty big door that actually will fit the whole gap straight off. Sorry, a little cough there. Alright, I think this could be a door that fits in here. Can we still raise the door? Yes. Actually. Alright, so this gives us a door in here. Apparently. Apparently. 
Um, I am going to do a little experiment with the pathing and see what happens if we change the pathing now to just like asphalt. Uh, maybe that will get rid of the, um, the curbs because we've set it off now and I do want these curbs to be gone. Obstructed. It's not obstructed. Oh, it is, apparently. How is that? Alright, let me try something. Let's get rid of this. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's obstructed here now because of the floor, probably. Oh, yeah, and they still, they still made holes here. See? That's the issue. Alright, well, we're just gonna delete all of this. Go back. We'll leave it as it is. It's fine. Now, this is not all you can do, because now we have the uh, shops or the two information desks, so people can get information here. But there's a lot more we can do here, especially if we go to things like props and then go to souvenir props. There's actually a lot of stuff that we can put in here, uh, which is actually great. I love it. Uh, let me check, because there's more things sh that should be in here, like these. Are they in here? Nope. I have to find... Oh, there are in the facilities tab. And then we have to go to the uh, merchandise. Now we can put some merchandise stuff in here. That people can actually come in and buy some stuff. Um... Let's see how we can make this work like this. Angle snap is on, so we can just rotate it. And now if we put this back, we get a little wall to shop in. And if we just go like this, we hit yes. Then I'm going to do this one. Now, we're not going to attach this to a actual souvenir shop. So they actually can't buy anything in here. That's the whole issue. They can't really... Uh, get something from this but there actually is an easy way that we can put some stuff in here oops and that's really funny so let's do like this and now if you click it you can just put stuff in here so we can sell animal hats and baseball caps and we can sell masks and now all of a sudden, this little information place is starting to come to life. Because now we're actually having some goodies in here that we can use. Another thing I would love to get in here is... Um, where is it? It should be in the guest facilities, but then this one. I hope I can place this somewhere because it has to be along a path and apparently it can't be put in here now. So we can't put the um, money machine in here. This game is really wonky with the paths because I did not have this in one of my other games. But if we put this outside here, that could work, but this is not a nice place. All right, let's continue with this because this I love this so much that you can really put in all these different things and you can sell stuff and goodies in here. I love that. All right, let's go out here. Let's hit the X so that we can put it in. And then we can also put up some stored thingies on this side. Yes. And we'll put one up on this side too. It's not that the people will actually go watch them, of course, because they can't reach it right now. Uh, because of the uh, whole issue that this is there's no path here. But still, this is fun. Yes. All right, let's put some stuff in here. Animal statues and T-shirts. What don't we have yet? I don't know. Let's do some more baseball caps. Alright, well, they can now sell some goodies here. 
so that's working out let's go to the information desk but we have to let's see if i hit info we won't get a sign but if i do that here we should be able to get a sign yeah let's get something like this let's add this to group uh four and then hit the x let's see if this fits in so that we get an actual sign in here so that everybody can see that this is the information service so there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do with stores and we can even put up a big one outside here so that people can really see that this is the information area And then when they come in, they walk in here, they can buy some stuff, they can get their information, and then they can walk out again. So I think that's nice. Uh, now, of course, we need a roof for this and some other things. So let's continue. Let's go to the roofs. Now, I think this could go with a, a little uh, non-standard roof, but it should still be okay. Carbon fiber? No, 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 no. Uh, it's on roofs, yes. Clay tiled roof. How does that look? I think it should be quite a sturdy building, so it might be something like a clay tile roof or copper. Nah, that's not for an old building. No, this is for a very cheap building. Well, as with everything in the zoo, it's always a bit of uh, searching, trying, and then you find what you want. The metal roof. Now this gives it something of a uh, modern look. I think I'm going to go with the uh, first pick that I already had here. Where is it? Yeah, this one. So I guess what I want is to have the roof stick out a bit. So this should probably go somewhere there soon. If that works, let's try. Or I could probably just uh, put this one up. Ah, that's a tiny bit big, maybe. There should be a smaller version of that, yes. Could be this, but then we have to get rid of that one and put in the um, corner piece, I believe. Nope, that's the inverted one. Like that. There we go. I like it when the roofs have that little overhang on it. I love that, actually. So let's go with that. we go now we have to put in the two pieces in here one and two and just this little uh, piece there there we have it okay now i think we have no piece i think that will mimic the um thing that we've built with the whole beams and stuff but that's okay don't really mind that beam oh wow we can even get it small cool well there we have our little information desk it's now up and running um people can get in they can get some information so it's time to also work on this sites here a bit so let's put up some uh Right, let's exit this. I don't want to put these... Uh... There we go. And then there's different pictures we can do.
And now it came a bit to life, I hope. And then um, maybe some little plants around here. And we have the information place up and running. Ah, that might be a bit too big. Ah, this is better. Let's get the angle snap off. To rotate it slightly. Now, of course, this little um, concrete slab is on here. I don't really like that, but I want to just rotate this because I think it looks just slightly better when you rotate it. Well, the information place is up. What are your thoughts on it? I hope you like it. I, I like it. It's cool. Just have to do something with this side, I guess. Maybe there's some hanging plants or something that we can put on there. Can't we just... Let's get rid of the filters. That might help. And then put in hang. Oh, but that's just this. That is nothing else, apparently. Thanks, Hiradev. Thanks. So what do you, all of the others think? Is this like a nice information stand? Or did I get it totally wrong? Do you want to see something else? Something change? Let me know. The more input I get, the more I can do with it. While I'm trying to find some nice big hanging plants. I know there are. And then we can put those maybe up here a bit. Ah, here we have some. Because I think it will be cool if we have some hanging stuff here. Ah, that's a bit too much. Yeah, this is better, I think. All right, so now we have some plants hanging there. People are actually getting in here, getting their information, so that the stat works. So they're actually getting in there, they're buying stuff, now they're getting out. So cool. And you can do this for all different types of buildings that you can put in the zoo. Also, like with toilets, you can decorate them up and stuff. Now, we don't have a lot of animals in the zoo, of course. So, uh, what about a few potted plants around it? That is a great suggestion, Kevin. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. We have African planters. We have these white ones. We have... New world planters. Maybe these can go color wise, can go a bit with it. I don't like the metal ones this time. Could be interesting. I missed it. Is there a door on the back? Yep, yeah, there's a door on the back. There it is. It was a quick view, but it was a view. All right, maybe we can do like a big planter somewhere here in the front so that they can just walk around it, I guess, when they get into the building. And then we can put plants in there, of course. And maybe we can put these up here a bit so that you don't see the edge of the... Uh... <laughs> ...of the curb here anymore. That might be actually quite good. Alright, so now we have to find some plants that go in here as well. So that's always a challenge. And not a challenge that I'm that good with always, but... Um, 
I think I like this actually. So there we have the first plants in. And I like plants with a nice big flower to just get into places like this so that we really give it the feel of a big flowery thing. I have to work sometimes to get the um, plants in right, of course, so that they don't collide with each other. You need a giant man on stilts to greet the people. Yeah, but that's not in the game and I also can't build that. So that might be a bit tough. All right, well, this worked out. So let's get rid of the floor here. That's just laying around. We don't need that anymore. And now we have this area set up. Um, I think what I will do is when we get into the offline part, I will start to decorate these areas up a bit and maybe also do the nature here so that next time we can go build another habitat that can go with the uh, top ears here. And then I also think that... I want to go for another lemur island soon enough so that we can get the lemurs back in because I did really love that uh, to have that in so that could be something uh, but at least we have a new start we now actually have an information stand we did not have that in our other zoo I'm actually quite happy with this I think this looks pretty cool so that's great uh, the lemur island could be another very nice addition and we now have at least these two animals and I believe one of them is already pregnant, and that should be the lady, of course. Uh, I don't know if I can actually see that somewhere. I know it's said that they were about to mate, but... Um, status. Doesn't say... Oh, yeah. No, they're monogamous, but they're not really... Uh, happy that cleanliness is at risk. Then clean the habitat. You can get in. I have plenty of keepers, so that should not be a problem. Oh yeah, there's really some stuff laying around. Let's, uh... Oh, keeper is already assigned. Okay. I love the tapirs. Thank you. Well, you're most welcome. I really love these animals too, though. They're really great animals. I love the coloring and how they look and their nice snout there. They're so nice. This is cool. So, um, uh, let's take a look at all the people. Because what people don't realize, when you go to a zoo, you're not just watching the animals. The animals are watching you as well, thinking like, oh, who are those crazy people behind the glass? So that's interesting. But uh, yeah, here we are in this nice habitat. There comes a keeper, I think. So hopefully he will clean the stuff up. Otherwise, there might be an issue with entrance or something. So I have to take that into uh, consideration. But I don't think so. They should be able to get in and clean it. Yep, there he is. So that should be okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff laying around there. What's he doing? Is he feeding them in there? Placing food in the habitat. Well, now come and clean it up. Can I click this and then call a... Uh... No, I can't do that. Okay, well, it's fine. Well, at least we made a start. I will start decorating this up as soon as I can. And then next time we'll continue and have more fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this a lot. I know I did. Um, it has been two hours now. So um, keeper assigned. Keeper urgently assigned. Yes. Let's clean this up. But that should soon be okay. Well, we're off to an okay start. I think this was fun. And uh, then next time we'll continue. I'll make sure that I keep this safe now and work my uh, behind off to keep it and make sure that I don't lose it. That will be probably a good thing to make sure that we can continue this next time. Um, Friday, I should be here with another stream. I guess it's going to be, I don't know, Ostrif probably or something else. I have to still figure it out. But um, yeah, we'll see about that. Thanks so much anyway. I hope you really enjoyed this. I know I did. And of course, I hope to see you on the next episode. Oh, these people are really running towards the animal. They really want to see an animal here, I guess. So uh, thank you all. I loved it. For me, it was amazing. I hope it was amazing for you too. 
I wish you all a great rest of the week. I am pretty busy uh, the coming days, so uh, don't expect me too much on the uh, on the Discord, but I'll try to be there when I can. And then I will be back on Friday. My Ostrich crashed. Oh, sorry to hear that. I hope you can find a way to fix it or just build a lovely new town. You're very good at that anyway, so uh, that should be good. But thanks so much, everyone. See you all next time. And bye-bye.